aside from last place. Remember, he went down and came all the way to fifth. He's faster than Ricky. Ricky knows it, but he doesn't want to give it to him yet. Here's Tortelli making the pass on Carmichael. Sebastian Tortelli taking the checkered flag. And Carmichael with a second place. Establish himself at the front. He may well be able to claw back some of those. There is Camalingo. And Tortelli now goes into the lead. Federici, second. Way down the running order at the moment. The leader, once again, the 16-year-old. Race for him so far. Tortelli going through, 25. Still leads, looking back. And it is Sebastian uh, Tortelli then that takes 20 points. He's been off, but apparently Paul Malin, the British rider, didn't help the situation when he rode across him. But nevertheless, Puzar looks to be out. Tortelli, then as Lini. But here, race leader, the 16-year-old French star, Sebastian Tortelli. And just look at those flags at his home Grand Prix. Well, if he can win this, what more could a youngster want? A good start from him this time. Here's Tortelli, number 25. Gainly hanging on to that lead. But it looks like a maximum for this youngster. Number 25, Tortelli, on target for a win in Heat 2 here in France. Here he comes then to take the win then. Home Grand Prix victory for the youngster. France and Tortelli. Well, the banner says it all. It's come through. Camalingo dropping back. That's Button and there's Tortelli. So we've seen some changes. He's on for third. Camalingo and then Button, 59, with Tortelli right behind him. Frederick Vial picks his way past the slower back markers. And Tortelli has charged through into second place. And charged again and taken the win over Vial in second. Incredible stuff from the 16-year-old. Races. Tortelli. Frederick Vial and Mauro Dal Lago. Another lap. And Tortelli takes second place from Segui. Tortelli, getting close all the time, takes the lead on lap six. And Tortelli wins race one, 24.8 seconds ahead of Paul Malin and Michel Fanton, with Frederic Vial in fourth place. Race two. But again, it's a whole shot for Eric Camalengo. In front of Segui, Velo Metti, Jorgensen and Tortelli. End of lap one and Tortelli. Malin now in third place. A great action here from the champion Malin in second place. Stefan Roncanda for Honda, finishing fourth. So his 11th heat victory for Tortelli, his seventh Grand Prix win in a row. More leads at the end of lap one. Campagnolo, Segui, Tortelli goes through there on three, edging away. Tortellini is up into third place, Segui distance. And the gap has been closed. More leads, but Tortellini is very close indeed behind him now. Lap 10. There he goes. Into the lead. Takes the lead from Moore. First race and Moore second ahead of Maya. So that's absolutely critical for Tortellini. At 17, Sebastian Tortelli becomes the youngest ever world motor champion. Then it's my first title and it's just perfect. So 10 years after his Sebastian Tortelli, the champion confirmed two rounds still to go. The next round, it's Jinin. And so down to the line for the very first race of 1997. There goes scorching up Tortelli, Oxbow, Kawasaki mounted. Tortelli has gone to the front, but never, never rides over his head. Tortelli may well be setting a pace. Everts and the big Honda will not be far away. But the little Frenchman, 17 years of age, his first ever 250 GP, school, 17 years of age. He has the confidence that he is the 125 race. Through two heats of 45 minutes, 
so far in this first race. He's not put a foot wrong. That Kawasaki prepared by the Dutchman, Jan de Groot, the man that's done so much for motocross riders over the last 10 years. Very, very watchful eye. There he is, checkered flag already. The first 250 event of the season. Tortelli has got a win. There's Jan de Groot, the man that was second. What more can you say? Kawasaki, the first heat went to this youngster, Sebastian Tortelli, from the crowd. And here at Talavera, Tortelli is proving right now it's the youngster that's got it together. He gets out of shape. Tortelli has thrown it away. We said earlier, can he concentrate for 90 minutes? You will know there are a lot of long shadows across there now that weren't there a little earlier. You saw the front end just go away. Tortelli has gone back to 6th, 7th, possibly down to 8th position, I don't know. With the CR250 Honda for 1997, come in for a lot of criticism from his way up through the field. Very, very quickly, already back past Pitbira. You can hear the crowd, he's already back past Everts. Let's have a look at the results. Long, long straight, Sebastian Tortelli. He said so nonchalantly to Maria. He's ahead of Evers. He's ahead of Mike Brown, ahead of Talon Volan. The Hooters are already going. Well, what can you say about this youngster? He's busy writing exams. Jan de Groot doing some incredible preparation for this young. He had to miss the second GP, but here he is back up front. His injury, we saw him crash in the trees. He'll be riding with some pain. The Oxbow Kawasaki, the 96-125 world champion. The speculation over the winter was, could Tortelli move up with the big boys back to Holland? And he's leading the race yet again. He takes the checkered flag. That's in the bank for him. Catch me if you can. He got out of shape last week in Holland, but he's back line, and that cost him some valuable points as well. That put the Tennessee rider out, but back in that away, big, big time. Well, Sebastian Tortell, that's Pitbira on the Honda. But this is the man that there's been so much speculation about. Another victory for Kawasaki. It is humanly possible. Down the hill he'll go. Tortelli will jump one-on-one -on -one with him. Tortelli up onto the back of Stefan Everts. Look at the youngster. This is the baby from France pushing the world champion around. He goes to the inside. Everts left the door open. It is again. He can't get the power of the big Honda down. The crowd love it. The little man of France with a Charlie Chaplin hat. Never mind laughing at him. He is the newfound character of motocross. Makes a small mistake there. And ever says, make many more mistakes like that and I'll have you. You're missing two world champions, in fact. A 125 and a 250 world champion. Side by side. And it's showtime for both of them. Who's going to get the checkered flag? It's got to be Everett, surely. Everett takes the win. He gets the honours. Well, there's the explanation about the goggles. A stone has split his nose. Listen to the crowd. Do I have to tell you? 30,000 Frenchmen came to see Tortelli. In the second heat of the day, he's got the whole shot. Good day here at Brew. Listen to the crowd, the, the hooters, the tricklers. He puts the power on, on the HRC Honda. But he's got the win. Tortelli takes the win in heat. out of shape he never seems to get rattled he doesn't seem to get caught up in a race tortilli might but you will not see stefan everts get out of shape or getting rattled or pushing or bumping too much he just says at the end of the year i can bring a championship to honda that's the professionalism that he rides at strong tortilli goes past him and everts knows <laughs> hell i wonder if he knew times and he says let the youngsters go when they add up the points, you'll see my name in lights. Tortelli will surely take the victory. That's some valuable points. Holland is up there. That's the popular American. He had a big injury. We saw his crash earlier on. That was a big throwaway. Digging around the circuit and they stand on the huge mountainside. But here they've got wonderful grandstands at the top. And, and he'll know that Tortelli's coming, but a very relaxed man up front stefan everts he's in front in second spot is talon volan all natural circuits of europe and certainly those that can jump well and you often get particular riders 
that really can. For the two hands, it's not far away. The crowd know it. Stefan Everts will know it very, very soon as well there. Down the hill they go. And Tortelli just goes motoring past him. Tortelli has gone to the front in the dying moments. He doesn't get rattled. He says, it's all yours. Tortelli takes the win. Everts goes to second. Talon Volan goes to third. Quickly. He's still got a pass, but Byron, look at that. Over the three. Good night and goodbye, Sebastian. Bolly is there as well, De Maria. Oh, Tortelli has gone down big time. Let's strike this Honda stopwatch and try to get an interval between first and second at least. Yes, 2.7 seconds on Emig in second. There goes McGrath in third. Number 103, Tortelli. He has come from a long way back. Style. Tortelli, Emig. Emig right there, battling with Tortelli. Tortelli to the inside. Tortelli now moves into second place. Oh, this is unbelievable. And he's within striking distance of Henry. Tortelli ended up the opening lap going from 15th to 12th place. He is steadily picked off rider by rider. Should uh, Henry make a mistake? Oh, Tortelli shows the wheel to the inside. We mentioned good qualifying times. He did crash in the first, in his qualifying heat. Here, get that ball rolling, keep going. Henry, Tortelli, Emig, McGrath, Pashon, and Wyndham is our order. And Tortelli trying to make a move. Looks like Tortelli is just waiting for the right time to work his way around. They're gonna be coming up to the white flag. Here comes flag. Tortelli and the white flag coming up as he comes around to the finish line job. The white flag is waving for the Frenchman. Tortelli, I'm gonna have to apologize to this guy for not noticing of what a great ride coming from behind, passing all the the country's best, the world's best. For Sebastian Tortelli. Oh my goodness, I don't know how you sing in French. <laughs> I believe in miracles, but this has just happened for Sebastian Tortelli. From Los Angeles Coliseum. We'll be back with some interesting comments, I'm sure. By the You've now accomplished something that not even your compatriot, John Michel Bale, did. You've won the opening round of an AMA Supercross series. This must do wonders for your confidence coming to America in 1999. Oh, sure, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to win today, and I was so surprised, you know, about it. <laughs> the top 250 GP riders in the world come down to the line at Fox Hill for the first heat. seldom that Everts will go and crash bang into that but there he comes straight back again just slotting behind him and picking his moment and look at Tortelli he cannot get cheekier than that the Oxford Kawasaki rider says let's up the telly is the one man that can give it to him of course he's happy to get a lot of air time wants to come inside Everts again Everts Saki Yonderkruet Kawasaki well prepared look at him again Every time he just looks out the corner of it, screaming Kawasaki right behind him. But Everts wants the points, he wants to stop the top step of the podium. Honda riding out of Belgium, the current world champion, but that's Tortelli yet again. He'll have to go on the outside. Well, don't worry about that, says Everts. I'll just close the absolute masterly lesson in riding motocross. There he has another go. Everts just moves across. A very, very quick lapse indeed. Otherwise, he's going to show his hand too early and Everts will come back. Well, there he is again. He might have an advantage on that Kawasaki. It's not going to be there, I'm sure. Squares off very, very quickly. Contact sport and certainly Tortelli showing us what it's all about. The States is a lot more for the crowd and he knows that the checkered flag is right there. Tortelli has won. And then fourth is going to be Frederick Wally. 
So, a great first hit. Tortelli is the man as he takes the flag. Let's catch up. But Tortelli is going to be as close and all the rest of the riders on the Grand. They want a fair fight right to the end. And right now, it's all about one man. They have got so much work to do. Rocked by a protest in Brazil through an exhaust noise of Sebastian Tortelli. That 100 meters has eaten away. Is quick. Tortelli is quick. Up into the air they go. Everts. Mm, he's going to have to be more than Mr. Super Cool. But everyone has come to see what we're seeing. Stefan Everts, the number one plate. He wants to keep it on his bike. But Kawasaki wanted badly. Four plate. Right now. Their points are close. He's going to make a move. What can Stefan Everts do? Tortelli goes to the front, wins this event. Whoever finishes ahead of the other is going to be the new world champion. The green bike going away. Everts has got a problem. Everts has dropped it. Bike. Kawasaki have done an amazing job, supported by Silkeline and Ox. That's it, he's done it. Sebastian Tortelli, Kawasaki, 98-250 Grand Prix world champion. They say that the French are emotional. They say the French are the best lovers. And certainly he must love his manager, his mechanic, right throughout the year. That's the number one play. That's what it's all about. Look at the support for that man. Way through the crowd as well. There she is. She will head off to the USA next year. Down here on the starting line, guys, getting ready for the beginning of the first moto, the 250 National Championship Series. We have the riders burning out their tires, getting ready. But Michael Rocco's there. Tortelli just got going. You see, Tortelli's all the way up to sixth place now. He's passed something like nine riders in the last three laps. There's number 44. He's just going faster on every inch of the racetrack, Art. I've never seen anything like this. Sorry. And so Tortelli now is giving the challenge to Mikel Pichon. Team Honda teammates going at it. Wow. I mean, it's just a, a straightaway where no one's been passing, and he makes a pass through there even on his teammate. He's right? come from about 25th to 3rd in the first four laps. you got to be impressed by this kid. Yeah, the kid's hauling butt. I got him about halfway around the first lap in 10th. Um, a few guys have fallen, but he's been making up some time. Yeah. I think he can win it. All the stopwatches are on number 44, Tortelli. Look at that. I mean, he's already there. The last lap, he wasn't even in the picture, and now he's already making the pass. Clean pass from teammates, and Tortelli quickly moves into second place. I don't think Wyndham could do much about that. Tortelli is just on a mission. In the 125 ranks here back in 1996. Tortelli makes the move up a graph. Back and forth we go. The crowd is going crazy. Riding his own race right now. He's got to be defensive. Oh, you can hear the fans. Here's Tortelli to the inside. Tortelli and Jeremy almost off the track. Tortelli regains the lead. Once before, the checkers for Sebastian Tortelli. A good start for Kevin Windham. Dowd, there's Henry in the play. Cole going down is our team. And look at Tortelli got caught behind him. Now, it might be, take a little longer to get around Mike. <laughs> oh, Maybe. yeah, right. <laughs> good call, Dave. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at that power to the ground. Look at Butt. Butt kind of squeezes him into the corner. The photographer having a... Look at the power, though, of that two-stroke oh. Team Honda, number 44, Sebastian Tortelli, on the upside of Mount St. Helens. That was just anger right there. He could sense that they're not even really worried about whether Tortelli can get around Huffman. Oh! All he needed was a little bobble. I think he was going to get around him anyway, but now they're looking at the gap to McGrath. And that is the hold off the fast Frenchman. Look at that. Tortelli. It's like he's on another track. So, uh, obviously, he can come through the pack, so starts aren't really that big of a deal. Well, you heard Stanton screaming there at the top of Mount St. Helens. Sebastian Tortelli. It's becoming a habit already here with the first round. Tortelli taking a 1-1 for the overall victory. How about the race overall? Two race with you swept both modes in your first American National. How do you feel about the series now? You know, I feel, you know, I hope I can, I can stay there and uh, just, you know, keep it this place and try to, to stay, you know, here all year. And uh, even if the whole track are way different, I'm going to try to, to, to make up my speed and be confident. And, you know, I learned a lot last year battling with Stefan Nevers for the World Championship title. And I know they're going to help me all year long.
Flying out in the lead, Everts glances back at his immediate follower, Sebastian Tortelli, his arch rival in 1998. and Tortelli, a reminder of the final of the World 250cc Championship in Greece in 1998. We're on the fourth lap now and Tortelli goes for a sixer. Tortelli in the big downhill has done one of the most spectacular tumbles replay. We can see exactly what happened as Tortelli sets off balance when the front wheel hits a rut and both he and the machine go tumbling. Luckily, there's no harm done for Sebastian. Although with we're back at Bud's Creek, where a Frenchman just won the 125. A Frenchman is now leading the 250, and here's a Frenchman that's picking up the caboose of the freight train to the contenders. It's unbelievable. Jam is Wyndham, and Tortelli go at it. Tortelli makes a clean pass on his Team Honda teammate. But he is the top privateer as we go back to the battle. Carmichael, Tortelli. Ricky Carmichael. He's really feeling it now. There's Tortelli's move in the shadows. Carmichael comes right back. Back and forth we go. Here comes Tortelli. Oh, my goodness. By the bar we go down the hill. Tortelli takes the lead. Something outrageous. That's what it's going to take to get around Tortelli because he is solid. He's going fast enough that Ricky's going to have to take chances. In this position earlier in the... Oh, whoa, look at that! Ricky Carmichael comes right in and does a block pass on Tortelli. Flipping out just a little bit in the back turn, but you can see that red fender. That's right his favorite corner. Look how close he got. And the checkered flag for Carmichael. His second sweep of the year. His third victory of the season. Go off and say, well, oh, a little mistake there by Kevin. And here comes Tortelli in the good position to take advantage of it. Now we're so really putting the pressure on Villeman. Villeman is worried. Here comes Tortelli in the second place. And a little bit of different timing through there. He actually bounces over the, one of those big bumps. Going by the mechanics area now. Shane Drew, what's on the board? He's three seconds back. That's nothing to Tortelli. It's easier for the next one. Carmichael down the hill, looks back to see where Tortelli might be. Far, but I just don't know if his pace is fast enough. Look at Tortelli. Forget about that three seconds, it's on. It's down to Tortelli. Tortelli is determined, though, to make a move against Carmichael. He's able to take different lines everywhere, as you see right there. He's got Carmichael nervous, looking over his shoulder. They're going crazy here at Redbot. To the inside, Tortelli. Acceleration of Carmichael, though, holds him off for one more turn. Here's Tortelli to the outside. Inside, outside, Tortelli takes the lead. Beautiful pass. Clean move on the outside where he would least expect it. Right in front of Ricky's mechanic. He can make that kind of rub in a little bit more. He's able to go to the outside right there, too, over the double jump. So now he's got... He had one last year, and that was the opening round at Glen Hillen. You don't see that much celebrating from Sebastian, but he got a little thumbs up right there over the jump. He's, this is an emotional win for him. He wanted it bad. And the checkers are waving. Sebastian Tortelli. Riders on a Kawasaki win here at Troy, Ohio in the 250 race. Ricky trying to keep that streak alive. Look at all these Hondas. Kevin and Tortelli, then LaRocco. Let's to see what it might be. Well, unfortunately, I don't have our third place rider, Tortelli. He came into the finish line area, pulled off for a second, stalled his bike, and could not get his foot down on the ground. Apparently, he's turned his ankle. In fact, it was so bad, I had to start his bike for him so he could ride back to the pit area. We'll try and find out what's going on for the start of the second moto, but this might throw a big wrench and a bad wrench in the plans of Honda for this outdoor championship and in their battle with Ricky Carmichael. Come out of that corner, and Kevin doesn't want to give it to him. Lots of off camber on this track, and Tortelli now taking advantage of it. Right now, wondering where that number 21 is, and there he is, bent handlebars, the back end is sagging. I don't think he's going to be able to finish, Art. Look at the bike. Well, this could be the determining factor for the championship right now. Let's go down to the pit area. Davey, 
Guys down here in the mechanics area, terrible break for Sebastian Tortelli. It looks like the subframe of his Honda is broken. He had a big crash up on top of the hill. If you get a look at this, the handlebar, you can see the clutch side's bent down. And the mechanics there, Shane Drew, Mike Gosler, pulling the seat back. Tortelli with a DNF. That's going to inch Carmichael closer to the national championship. Nation who are hosting this motocross the nations this year and what a fantastic job they've done of it the circuit here is incredible believe you me very few can equal this around the country oh but Vaughts there loses out to Totelli Totelli passes him this year's motocross the nations and it's all gone sadly wrong from the first race when he got that rock in the nose look at Carl Michael Bastian Tortelli alongside him, and these two are banging bars and banging, look at them, elbowing each other. Well, they've been doing this almost who it is. They've exchanged paintwork more than once this year in the American Supercross and Outdoor Series. This, the Americans have enough lead and they're coming back and look at Carmichael. Oh, there you go. I can do it as well, he says. I think this is will uh, stop Sebastian Tortelli. He's on a roll. They motions, but maybe he can win the last race of the day. And the crowd here are going absolutely. Gordon Crockard up there in ninth place. Smets is in 11. So he stayed out. This gym might yet pinch it at the last death. And look at Seb Tortelli. Carmichael trying to stay those two on the 426 Yamaha. It's the Italian, Andre Bartolini. And these two are at it at the front yet again. The crowd are going wild. Listen to them. 37 to Italy. Great Britain on a, on a chance of a podium position. If they could just. Tortelli that takes it for France. He finishes the motocross nation star, but come on to take the 2000 to Nations Cup. Tortelli celebrates. The crowd have gone wild. Yeah, you know, I give everything I had to, to win that race. You know, that was very important for me. You know, I would like to win one more at least for the for the French nation. And uh, I did everything. That was a great Another fight. overall victory. The checkers are waving. Sebastian Tortelli. Celebrate. Ricky Carmichael finishing the first lap in front of Kevin Windham. And Tortelli is starting to blister the course. Morocco back to 10. Well, that's unlike Mike Morocco this year. Whoa, hang on, Tortelli. Kevin Windham, a chance to go bar to bar now with Tortelli. Tortelli with four podiums on the year takes the inside. Back and forth we go with Tortelli now in second place. Well, if, he's keep, if these guys keep fighting the way they are, if they come around a big sweeper like that and Carmichael's that far ahead, look at him. He's gone. And Tortelli is really putting time on Wyndham now, so maybe we're going to see a race for the top spot. Ryan's been able to hold him off. Hang on to your hats. There's Ricky Carmichael, but look who's right behind him, Sebastian Tortelli. And Tortelli might be the fastest bike on the track right now. Driver's seat a little. Carmichael's arms looking just like pistons. Oh, he lost control for a moment. Here comes number 13. That's Tortelli. One foot on the peg for Carmichael, and Tortelli went by him. Yeah, he's definitely worrying Ricky. Some mistakes that he hasn't been making this year when he's had pressure like that. He's made mistakes all on his own. He hasn't needed anyone to do it, but this time, Tortelli forced him into that. See all that dancing around they do before they get to the berm? It's hard to get set in the berm. So a couple of times, Tortelli's all, almost gone over it. Some good saves, though. He's still got a good cushion over Ricky. Let's go down to the mechanics area, Davey. Well, Shane, you were right. He did get a map. He's known for fast starts in the motocross season. All three seasons, he's participated on the 250s here. He's led the points early in the year. He took it all the way to Unadilla a couple of years ago. Really taking it to Carmichael here. Right out of the corner, and it ruins his rhythm down the rest of the straightaway. Morocco capitalized on it. Tortelli leading on the final lap. Sebastian Tortelli looking for his third moto win of the season. Yeah, Carmichael's close. He can't afford to be cruising. And he is cruising. That's something's weird. Something's going wrong. Carmichael just blasts right by him. Something's wrong with the bike. Tortelli. Oh, just a few corners away from the checkered flag. Ricky Carmichael picks off the moto. Tortelli has got it going again, but slowly. And it sputters again. 
Oh, the finish line is 50 feet away. They had. And he's going to try to push it across the finish line. I don't know if he can get up that big finish line jump. The crowd is trying to encourage him. Oh, this takes so much strength, David. Tortelli trying to get up that final hill. And his mechanic, Shane Drew, is not allowed to help him. Shane may be able to make some suggestions. Trying to get it started by going back downhill. Already dropped back down into what he's lapped up to. That's going to be his finish. Yeah, it was. That's a shame, Davey. Uh, Sebastian was riding really good. I mean, he he caught up to me and uh, passed me, and I didn't have too much for him. And uh, that's a shame his bike uh, gave out on him there to the last lap, you know. Uh, I don't like to win that way at all, and uh, my hat's off to him. He had that one, and uh, I'll just have to take it. Uh, I worked really hard this, the, the off week because I knew he was going to be fast here, and uh, I still didn't have nothing for him, and it uh, kind of disappoints me. Uh, you know, I don't know where I can make up any time. I felt like I was riding hard. Uh. Ricky Carmichael looking to become the winningest AMA motocross rider in the sports history, number four, here at Unadilla. He took second in the first moto. He's out in front here in the second moto. That's when you just want to reach for a pair of wire cutters, snip that all away, and get him going again. What a great break for Ricky Carmichael, who's got Tortelli on his uh, backside. But it was very, he had the beat, really, for this overall. What a ride from last place. Remember, he went down and came all the way to fifth. He's faster than Ricky. Ricky knows it, but he doesn't want to give it to him yet. Here's Tortelli making the pass on Carmichael. I mean the overall. And he could keep that string alive, but being the competitive Ricky Carmichael we're used to, here he comes back again. Ricky Carmichael takes the lead back. I'm still at a loss for words at the way he flew out of the gravity cavity. He flew out of there completely sideways. Last moto of the year, and everything depends on it. Tortelli might not be in line for the championship, but by golly, he wants to win this moto. He wants to make his mark before the end of the season. Yeah, it looks like somebody forgot to tell Ricky that this doesn't really matter for the overall. Look at the way he's charging. Through all the holes, soaking up that roost. Well, Ricky doesn't want to win an overall. With a little bit, and it worked perfect for the pass, but now Sebastian's ahead of him again. Ricky Carmichael, in his pro career, has never won an overall without winning a moto. Here comes Carmichael once again. That just looked like he just took a huge risk to me. Just wide open through all those breaking bumps, standing up right across the front, the line that Tortelli had. Being careful not to rub, Tortelli regains the lead and see the overall slip away. Well, he's fooling me a little bit on that because he's taking big risks. Look how hard he's charging through some of these sections. Faster, and Ricky has said, okay, well, I want to win this moto bad enough that I'm willing to take a few chances and hit a few holes that I was missing before. Close to going down and just muscle his way through it. Tortelli already with about a two-second lead. The inside of that straightaway for another pass. But Tortelli now has a substantial lead on Ricky Carmichael. Play. Carmichael down. Will he lose a position? He lost some more plastic. Supercross championship. Tortelli with a one and two last year here. Well earned victory for Sebastian Tortelli taking the checkered flag. And Carmichael with a second place. What record doesn't he have? Oh, Sebastian Tortelli. Well, this doesn't look good. He's out of it. A well, referee would call the fight right now. Oh, he doesn't even know what's going on. Oh, I hate this for him. You know, these guys have so much bad luck. He tries so hard. This isn't a guy that crashes because he doesn't know what he's doing. This is a guy that works as hard as anybody. He's got Jeff Spencer, he's got coaches, he's got he's got everything he needs. And a great record behind him. I hate to see it. Just I can't stand seeing that happen to guys like this. 
Maybe he's going to have to find a point to reach up and get that thing loose. And Sebastian Tortelli recovering on the sideline with the medics. That's and his wife just leaning in there. Jeff Stanton also leading in. So Carmichael and Wyndham become the main course, and there's a little seasoning, David. Sebastian Tortelli injured will not race more troubles for Suzuki. Well, he has been so fast. Every time I see Tortelli come by, I'm thinking, man, he's going to be a player. Great start in holding off one of the best riders on the circuit, oh. and he goes way over to a hay bale, and that might be the door that Sebastian Tortelli was looking for. Good point. And, and look how hard Tortelli's charging down this hill. He loves that outside line. Pops on the gas quick. Frenchman to Frenchman, you better pack a lunch and bring battle for tent position. Both men looking for the favor of Roger Acosta and See, Tortelli was, comes right back. That was Sean's line. If he didn't held on a little more coming into that corner, he might have had it. I don't know what happened there. Look at the lead he's got already. c'est sûr. Le voilà. D'ailleurs, l'homme à la pole position, ça fait. Un bail qu'il n'avait Quand plus. il avait quitté la scène des Grands Prix, on s'en souvient, ce Grand Prix de Grèce 98, il avait battu Stéphane Everts. Il, il s'est reste... arrêté, il y a un peu de soleil. Un retour d'Everts, retour de Seba, d'Everts sur Sébastien Tortelli. Il est revenu, Tortelli. Et les deux adversaires de 98 qui vont bientôt... Le 5 ans de... C'est vrai. ...de championnat américain et les circuits américains. Au niveau des dernières, au niveau des trous, ça ressemble... C'est souvent même... debout de Stéphane Everts. On le sent beaucoup plus rapide, beaucoup plus incisif dans ce début de manche. C'est vraiment génial, c'est l'opposition de style entre ces deux immenses champions. Avec Stéphane qui est en recherche de vitesse actuellement, c'est Tortelli, regardez. Ah, c'est absolument incroyable. Et ah, Steve Ramon qui en profite pour se rapprocher aussi, il est rapide comme ah, tout Steve Ramon. Il faut absolument se décider, ça serait dommage. Que Tortelli nous oui, fasse l'attaque de, de Tortelli peut-être. L'attaque oui. de Tortelli s'est passée avec la fameuse trajectoire. On l'a vu, il est ressorti plus rapidement. Il a la capacité de le faire. La réplique peut-être de Stéphane Evert. Et ouais, le bloc passe bien joué de la part de Stéphane Evert. C'est pas terminé, mes enfants. C'est loin. C'est psychologique, hein, Jean-Christophe qui est en train de se jouer là entre les deux. À ah, nouveau l'attaque de Tortelli. Tortelli qui attaque fort en sortie dernière. Une 54 pour Tortelli, une 53 pour Ramon. Euh, ah, chute de Tortelli, c'est Sébastien Tortelli qui est parti à la faute. Chute de Sébastien Tortelli, malheureusement, qui semble s'être blessé. Ah, décidément, décidément, Sébastien Tortelli. Ah, je n'étais pas sûr de ce que j'avais. Stéphane Everts qui aura mis KO. Sébastien Tortelli. At the LA Coliseum, the opening round of Supercross. This guy has one of the most incredible rides going. I'm leading the race thinking, okay, I've got this. And then he comes by me with like two laps to go and wins the race. It was, it was it truly so wonderful. I mean, point. I didn't like it at the time, <laughs> but, uh, but I do have to give him props. That was just an incredible ride. So. That I think, okay.